at Voice Over Virtual, Pro on Pro. Just one of 50 plus sessions with top voiceover pros. In this case, two multiple audio award winners talking about the essence of audiobook narration. Okay, what <laughs> What are you working on now, Simon? I've just, I'm getting to the end of a, of a non-fiction book. I don't do many non-fictions, but it's, um, it's called Catastrophe 1914. It's going to be about 25 hours long by Max Hastings. It's probably the first of those centenary books because we're uh, 100 years from the beginning of the First World War. I just want to show you this. Hold on a second. It comes with 60 pages of pronunciations. Nice. The Boy in the Suitcase, which was a sort of uh, Scandinavian noir thriller. There were uh, over 100 words in Danish and then close to 100 in Lithuanian. And uh, I literally tracked down native speakers and got them to record every single word um, <sighs> that I had to say in the book. Only, only, only 100 words in Danish, I see. But actually, I wanted to ask you, um, because you have a past experience not only as an actor, but also as um, a radio presenter for the BBC, you were a newsreader for Radio 4 for a long time. And I just wanted to ask you how that experience has affected your work as a narrator. I keep a clean sheet of paper in front of me and, um, <laughs> and wing it. What I feel like is I have this huge filing cabinet in my head, uh, you know, a, a vast range of stuff. And when I want the voice, I'll find it. When you're making, doing all these character voices, when you've finished the book, close the book, or, or you know, just doing certain habits of voice, do they spring up again in your natural day-to-day -day life? I mean, it's like, do you walk away from the character or does the character stay with you when you've been immersed in it for several hours? And sometimes, yeah, I mean, I do a whole series that's all narrated first person in Cockney. And, you know, sometimes I find if I'm in the studio doing that series, I'm like, all right, OK, let's take a break now. But I understand it's become a much more crowded marketplace and you really have to, you know, I, I followed a wave in, you know, I, I found myself accidentally doing audio books 20 mm -hmm. years ago after starting in London for the blind. And, and I just followed the wave and I've, I've reached a point now of, 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 you know, some moderate success. And I'm quite happy about that. And this is only a few minutes from a 40 minute conversation. Pro on Pro, only at VoiceOver Virtual. Go to voiceovervirtual.com for more details and to register.